Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you an updated plant tour since it has been so long since I've made a video. I have traded a lot of plants, I have sold a lot of plants, and I have also got a lot of plants from um, a bunch of friends and people in my plant group. So I want to show you guys. But first off, let me know where you're watching from. Comment down below if you are local and you want to join my plant group. We have over 800 people in it now and we swap and do giveaways and do fun things like um, secret Santas on Christmas for plants. It's, it's awesome. It's super fun and the people are so great. Um, so I would just message me on my Instagram at Haven's House Plants or you can on my main account at Have the Hippie and I'll send you an invite to that. Yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys my plants uh, individually and then after I'll show you guys where I have them living currently because my setup is a lot different from last time. So let's get started. First up, I have this silver satin skindapsis. This plant is absolutely gorgeous. And it's really nice because it's easy to propagate and it does wonderfully um, rooting in water and dirt. I highly recommend this plant, it's so pretty. And super shimmery. So another variation that I got of this plant because I liked it so much is this Moonlight, I believe it. you say it, Trubii. This plant is so pretty, it has these nice dark veins and then it has these really silver looking leaves and they do get a little bit darker as they mature but so pretty highly recommend next up i have this cute little marble queen i love pothos i was just talking to my friend the other day she actually gave me she sent me home with a few little plants so it kind of inspired me to make this video also because i have a new a few new things in my collection that I've got rid of so many recently. So she gave me a Pothos Enjoy. I hope, you, I hope it's not too bright here. Let's see. This plant is so pretty. I've wanted this for a really long time. Um, and I just have not found it anywhere. And then I have a nice little marble queen. Look at how cute. But we were just talking about how we do like white var variegation over yellow. Like golden Pothos is gorgeous and all, but that white variegation is just so gorgeous. I also have a big, this is a jade pothos mixed with um, marble queen, but the marble queen has kind of slowly lost its variegation. So I am excited to have another small one and I'm gonna keep it separate. I'm not mixing it with anything. And down here I have this adorable, this is a golden pothos that my husband got me and it is super, super cute. I love it. And then I do have one more. So this is my Jade Pothos. And I grew these all from clippings. I'm super proud. How cute is this guy? Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. Nice classic. All right. This is a adorable little succulent arrangement that I put together the other day. I was having plant withdrawals and I was like, I'm going to Walmart because I need to get a few plants. And this was literally all they have. I am not a succulent person whatsoever, but they stole my heart. A few of them are flowering. We'll see if they go for me because they usually die. Um, but I really hope that I can keep them alive because they're so cute. So next up, we have this little cactus. And it is so freaking cute. My friend Chichelle gave me a bunch of plants last night, so shout out to her. I cannot wait to see how this thing grows because it looks so cute. I have a thing for little tiny cacti. Um, this is a little prickly pear. How cute is this one? I love it. Love it! They're so cute! Um, I have to show you guys how I keep these. They're so cute. Let's see if I don't tip them over. So this pot right here, oh my gosh, it's so bright. I'm sorry. My friend, shout out, I'll put her link down below. I don't remember what it is exactly, 
um, but her name is Leia. She does henna artwork and she is absolutely amazing. I asked her to make a few pots for me and they turned out so cute. So this is my string of pearls. And then over here, I have a little cactus in this guy. I honestly don't know what kind of cactus. I am really bad with cacti names. Um, that's one thing I want to start figuring out a little bit better. So I have this adorable little Pylea. This is the other henna pot that I have. And these guys were little propagations that I got from trades in my group and they're finally starting to thrive. So I'm super excited to watch them grow. And then next up, these are my little seedlings. So <clears throat> this is also kind of, I guess, like a little update on these guys. They're doing wonderfully. I've actually sold quite a few of them. I kept these ones because I could not get rid of them. They are, this is like, these are the biggest plants. And I think it's because of the pot that they're in. Um, so I might be putting these in bigger pots to try to encourage them to grow a little bit bigger also. They're just doing so cute. Oh my gosh, how cute, right? This is how, I think it's been like five months now. So, super exciting. All right, so next up, oh my gosh, I don't even know if you guys can see with these here. I have a little Monstera Antonii. These are little clippings that are working on growing. Um, and I think I overwatered him. That's why he yellowed there, but he's popping back to life. He's putting out new leaves, so he's doing okay. Just gonna pretend it never happened and then i have these two gorgeous philodendron hopes and i'm just obsessed with them they're so cute they're so cute look at their new leaves like they're so shiny mm. highly recommend these plants they're so easy i water them well i've upped their watering because they do like it um like refrain in the winter like always but when it starts sp being spring and then summer they like a little bit more water so i've been doing like every three days and they're doing so good like i love them love them and they love the humidifier too so if you have one try to keep it by these guys but so now i guess i'll show you this big one this is my philodendron my huge philodendron hope. And I'm just obsessed. She's so pretty. It was a lot bigger last fall, but I um, separated it and cut it down a little bit and it's gonna do crazy. It's already put on a new leaf for me, so it's gonna do really well this spring. I'm really excited. Um, this was one of my sister's school projects, so I'm trying to get it to come back to life, but it's gonna be super cute. This is another one with like really shimmery leaves. I just love these types of plants. They're so cute. This is my big mama plant and it is so cute. If you guys wanna watch more like fun videos, more like current videos of me and my plants, you can check out my Instagram. How cute. All right, now I'll show you guys my monsters. This is probably the biggest one, I think. Well, it's gonna be the biggest, but it's not the most mature. It's really cute. Let's try to keep this one. Like, Grandpa Monstera. I absolutely love, like, look at how gorgeous that leaf is. And it has this new growth over here. All right, this is a huge snake plant. This is one of the plants that my husband had picked out, and I think he's super cute, so. Yeah, he's cute. I'm going to set him down here so you can see. And then this is a little money tree propagation. Super proud of him. If you attempt to propagate money tree, it takes forever, but it's really rewarding if it works out for you. They turn out super cute. This is a little donkey tail that I have. All right, this is my little CC plant. He's adorable. 
And I also, this is a thrift find and I just love this. I want to try and find their um, terracotta wine coolers. Like, how cool is that? Love it. So, next up I have this monstera cutting. This is actually for a friend and he's so pretty. I can't wait for her to get him. He has some nice roots going on in there. And then I have <clears throat> my classic Heartleaf Philodendron. This guy is just so cute. He puts out new growth all the time. So cute. This one right here is my Avocasia Regal Shield. And this plant is so cool. These leaves are so pretty. Bottoms have like this really cool design on them. They look like scales. Uh, one, two, three, four. This is my fifth graph. Um, I'm not gonna pick them all up and show you individually. When I show you guys around the room, I'll show you them really quick because they're all kind of, I try to keep them looking the same, but they're all really cute. They're all doing really well. I prop and sell these like once a, mo once a month and I sell them on my Instagram story. So if you are interested in a cutting, go follow me there and try to snag one. They go kind of quick. Like I said, my plant group has a lot of people on it and like we don't have anywhere to buy plants here. So this is how we do it. This is a philodendron Brazil that I just bought the other day. Super cute. All right, I might just show you guys around now because I'm sick of picking up plants. All right, so down here, I keep this cute little hibiscus. Oh my gosh, I don't know what just fell over there. Um, I don't know exactly what this was called, but he was like a rehab that I got for free for my plant group and I had to take her up on the offer because he's super cute. This is where I keep my little ZZ. Um, this is a little Hoya Carnosa propagation I have going. This is where these guys live. Down here I have a little terrarium with some Fetonia and a little Diefenbachia back there. And so my wraps are all on this bottom shelf. They do really well with like this medium light um, coming from my grow light. And this is I think I showed you most of these plants. All the cacti on the top shelf because they love the light. Seedlings on top because they need a little bit more light as well. And then the monsteras live in this middle part right here. Um, so up here I have a pothos because it doesn't need as much light. My humidifier because it reaches all my monsteras that way really well, but I keep them here. They like the light a lot. So over on this shelf is where I keep my philodendron. Little fiddly fig back here. I didn't really show you guys him. He's cute. He's just so, he's so grumpy. It's our little bamboo plant right here. Super cute too. These are some Syngonium cuttings I also got from my friend last night. Lily roots. I need to pot them up probably. <laughs> um, and then this is my money tree. We revived from death. This is a little avocado tree. Not really little anymore, but I don't know. He's wonky. I don't really know what to do with him. And this is where my pothos goes. So on the shelf up here is where I keep my flat leaf jade. I have a golem jade here. And then that's an African milk tree. This is a corn cob cactus. So this is saffron right here and I'm letting it dry out and I'm gonna let it, um, hopefully it'll bloom for me again next summer. This is a moonlight cactus. He is so cute. All of these little 
succulent pieces are coming out of this one little stick. He is the most funky little dude. And then this is a variegated, ooh, some pearls fell off. This is a variegated pearl, uh, string of pearls. Also picked this up from some a girl in my plant group. Up here, I have this philodendron golden goddess. He's not doing so well. This is my much better looking one down here. This is a little propagation station I have going on. Some Monstera Celta Pecana. They're pretty cute. They also have like that pretty, let me see if I can, that pretty silver. I love that. All right, we have this cute, I have no idea what this guy is. He's like a zebra, this little zebra print on him. This is a yucca tree propagation. It's pretty cute down there. And I think all that's really left is my air plants. Um, and they're super easy, I just soak them once a month, but you guys, how cute is this? It's having babies. And it already had this little one. I pulled this off of it like last fall. Um, and it started growing out two more. I don't like, I didn't even know that they could do this, but how cute. All right, so this is what everything looks like. Um, on here, I just have like my little workbench. This is a little rubber tray I need to pot up. CZ Raven that my friend gave me, I need to pot up. Right, sorry, my phone died. Um, and then these are some cacti that I just cut. Um, my friend also gave me these and I'm going to propagate them. So I'm just gonna let them scab up. They have been for a few hours now, but I'm gonna probably wait a few more. Um, I like them to be super dry just because that makes them less prone to rotting and then I keep them in dry soil. Um, and then this is another Hoya Cornosa propagation I have going. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.